Hello all, welcome to Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks again. Uh, today's topic is BFF design pattern. So BFF stands for backend for frontend. So we'll we'll try to deep dive more into BFF design pattern, how it works. Uh, start with problem statement, uh, how to decouple multiple client interfaces or multiple client application to use functional backend services. So whenever you try to create a design uh, and the connectivity between a client application to the backend services in microservice design umbrella, then there are various client interface connecting to various backend actually. Okay. And uh, why, why to do so? to produce the desired output. Now, there are typically three common ways that you that you can use to establish a connectivity between the client application to the backend services. So what are those? The first one is a direct point to point connection. Okay, so if you see in the example, like there are two client interfaces or the client application CL1 and CL2, and they are connecting to two backends, so backend one and backend two respectively. Okay, so the first one is a direct connectivity point to point connection. The second one is a common component called API gateway component or, you know, it's a kind of a design pattern as well. So there is a common component or a single component that will be responsible to connect to uh, backend one and backend two and uh, establish a connection between client interface one and uh, and client interface to to the downstream services. So that is the second way of doing it. And the third is the backend for front end design pattern. So it is more of a you know creating backend for front end component for each client interface to connect to the backend systems. Okay, so these are the three possibilities that you can design when you are trying to connect from client application to the backend services. Now let's start with what is an API gateway pattern. Okay, so API gateway pattern is a reverse proxy between a client application and microservices. Now it has the routing capability based on the routing rules. So basically, it's a single component that deals with all the routing capability required to connect to downstream systems. Okay, now it can also handle the cross cutting concern that is required for the client application or the com or the downstream components. Uh, for example, security, logging, casing, th those are the uh, few examples of cross-cutting concerns. Now, it helps in minimizing latency by service aggregation as well. Okay, so these are the main uh, uh, benefits of uh, API gateway pattern. Now, what are the common challenges by adopting this uh, pattern? So, service channels or client interface may grow eventually. So, you can have more additions of client applications or client channels so that eventually grows now by growing that that leads to make the api more fat because it's a single component and it becomes more fatty to handle the different channel specific requirements and at one point it again becomes a monolithic component okay with all kind of you know handling all the client specific logic within that so these are the common challenges now, backend for frontend, the third one is an architectural paradigm, okay, that defines a specific business boundary for each client interface. So, we already discussed that for each client interface, you have to design one backend for frontend component, and that defines a specific boundary for that particular, you know, channel of the client. Now, it always acts as a facet or a broker to connect to the backend service based on the client requirements. Okay, so it acts as a facet to meet the requirements of each client. Now, it enhances easier experience by connecting to each backend per client. So basically, this particular component always deals with the user experience uh, logic. Okay, and this also can be a type of API gateway pattern, but it is more a enhanced version or more a decoupled version of API gateway pattern. Now, what are the design consideration? It it adds more decoupling from client to backend services. So instead, a single component, which is API gateway pattern, having all the you know fat logic of deal with different channels, it's now segregated into different components for each channel. Okay, so it and that is why it is it is adding more 
decoupling uh, when uh, when there is a connectivity from you know client channel to the back end services now segregation of functional responsibility based on the client requirement that is what uh, we also uh, discussed now if in this example if you if you if you see there are uh, again two client interfaces cl1 and cl2 and uh, they are connecting to back end one and back end two microservices and in between that there are there are two facets cre gets created bff1 and bff2 and those are uh, responsible to you know deal with all the client requirements or the channel requirements uh, for example here mobile app and web app so mobile app is one client interface is having bff1 and web app is another interface is having bff2 okay so that is how it looks like now what is the way of working for a uh, bff design pattern so first user experience logic can be moved to bff example data rendering so let's say initially you do not have a bff so what usually we do we try to handle all the client specific logic or the user experience specific logic in the uh, in the front end layer okay so so what the result of writing those kind of logic or handling those kind of logic in the front end layer leads to you know a performance degrade of the end to end value chain okay so instead you are writing those you know your experience logic or requirement in the front end layer it can be shifted to the bff layer okay now based on functional requirement a lightweight aggregation also will can be created or considered in bff okay so for example here if you see the bff1 can connect to you know back end 1 and back end 2 as well so it's kind of a aggregated requirement that also can be handled in back end for front end now each client interface or channels can have one bff and each bff should have a downstream service to deal with that we already discussed and nfr based on client interface requirement also can be considered in bff for example caching logging security whatever uh, minimal thing that you can handle in bff also can be considered and bffs this is very important bffs should only be concerned with the user experience logic or the presentation logic within it okay so that is the way of working now the benefits of bff separation of responsibility so now you are dealing with client requirement in each component easy to enhance and maintain or new requirements you can also you know easily uh, maintain maintain the component as well as you can add new functionalities now it adds improved security so provides an independent area to deal with client specific security based on channel requirement shared responsibility it gives you the end to end value chain you know uh, from client application to the back end uh, service or the functional service and it also helps to uh, provide a shared responsibility across the team by doing this you you can achieve a rapid development process okay because uh, it's the end to end value chain uh, is responsibility of a single team or bff1 can be you know developed by one team bff2 can be developed by another team and that adds a velocity in your uh, feature development uh, of course it adds agility because the development team who is dealing with one end to end value chain of a microservice connectivity or microservice uh, feature development uh, they have the full control to manage the bff part as well and we already discussed it is also an aggregator capability where you, you can you can also position is as an position this particular component bff as an aggregator to minimize the latency or the back end forth communication from client to back end services so these are the benefits now with this kind of a high level knowledge uh, you can start practicing it you try to you know design your web component and try to fit it in your solution if there is a requirement okay and you can also follow different uh, sites uh, different sites blogs to get in get more into it actually i always have a microsoft link that you can go through it and have a you know closer look into how bff works in general okay that's it uh, for the day thank you and have a good day